Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I... I worry about you. How is, um... How are things at school? <laughs> Seriously? That's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. We already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subject. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? Oh my god, Rose is so weird. Yeah. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away from us, you freak. Imagine wanting to be friends Ugh, she's with her. Definitely. Ew. Not Something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up. Yeah. It's like she Stay sees things that aren't there. there. Freak. Creepy. Ew. Something just Go moved on her hand. Go away. Oh, oh, freak. Oh, 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 freak. Just oh, disgusting. Oh, Please oh, just stop. Oh, I'm still here? Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right.
That was a... You look just like... me. Who are you? I'm Rose. What's going on here? Let's keep moving. But... you okay what were those things what is happening here how what is this where am I not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. <sighs> Who are you? M my guardian angel? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Okay. Michael? What now? another <laughs> lively now aren't you you should have put that effort into running it would have made the chase that much more thrilling uh, let me go let me go it would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude <laughs> A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. The crystal? <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Here 
seriously? Where am I gonna get a gun? What, like this? You mean that gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? My powers? I literally came here to get rid of them. Okay, fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? So, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Focus? All right. I feel different somehow. Easy peasy. reward. Almost looks like the real thing, doesn't it? What? <laughs> it's a replica, of course. Nothing that valuable could ever manifest on this stratum. <laughs> Did you really think I'd give away something so precious? I had to bait the trap with something. <laughs> now comes the real fun. The perfect place for your demise. <laughs> Let the show begin! <laughs> Useless creature! Such a disappointment! <sighs> no matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. <laughs>
I don't want to leave. Not until I find that crystal. I'm tired of being a freak. I want to have friends. I want to live a normal life without this curse. If that purifying crystal can make that happen, make me normal, then I'm not going back until I find it. Yeah, so? All right, then. Why won't this thing work? <laughs> Why aren't you doing this? You're after the crystal, aren't you? Do you know where it is? <laughs> I've gathered some friends just for you. Entertain them. And maybe I'll tell. What is going on here? No one likes Rose. Because she's a freak. Hey! She has those crazy powers. What? Just like her dad. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Shut up! You know it's true. What is wrong with her? She's afraid! Look at her! No! Afraid of what she might turn into? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. Would he have taught me to ride a bike? Helped me with my homework? Read me a story every night? Would he have been there for me? Proud of me? Sometimes, when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Feels familiar, like I've been here before. A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious rose. Never forget that, Dad. 
No one loves you. No! No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! <laughs> Guess what? Isn't here. <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <gasps> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Shouldn't be chance. <sighs> they were supposed to die and join me here! Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. Those copies of me came from. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you, but I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent bastard! I got this. Get out of here! Sweetie. Oh my god! You're, you're so grown up now. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It 
was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> I'm back. I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like Dad, happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. 